As humans, sustainability is a long-term responsible maintenance of resources. Cities are one of the largest contributors to climate change, emitting over 70% of greenhouse gas emissions and consuming two-thirds of the world's energy. In Europe, the building sector is responsible for a massive 40% of energy consumption. If we continue down this path of environmental destruction, we are destined for an unsightly future. In the future, buildings should be seen as producers of energy, not consumers of energy. Denmark is striving for a 75% reduction of energy consumption by the year 2020. New buildings in the EU will have to consume nearly zero energy and the energy used within the building will be, to a very large extent, from renewable sources. Via Energy Park will be placed at Via's School of Technology and Business in Horsens and will be a living laboratory for industrialised energy, sustainable building and renewable energy sources. Via Energy Park is a part of the School of Technology and Business new research and development profile within energy and building. The park will function both as a demonstration field for students and as a new innovation platform where VIA experts can collaborate with students. It will also provide a place for external research institutions and private partners who, in cooperation, will create a new professional orientated knowledge to strengthen both the profile of VIA students and Danish companies. Worldflex Home Container House is a flexible modular building system that will be produced in Denmark and shipped to China. Its aim is to produce more energy than it consumes, as well as utilising the energy producing elements found within the VIA Energy Park. The thermal heating solar plant converts solar radiation to be used in the production of domestic hot water and heating. The plant is mounted with sensors and data logging equipment so the operation can be analysed. The plant will be used for studies in connection with the energy specialisation at VIA University College. Ground source heating has been used throughout Denmark for three decades. At VIA Energy Park we are experimenting with 100 metre deep vertical borehole heat exchangers. This way the temperature is more consistent than at surface level. An additional benefit is that the borehole allows for seasonal storage of surplus solar heat or waste heat from cooling. The wind turbine is a device that converts kinetic energy from the wind into mechanical energy that is used to produce electricity. The small wind turbines have data logging equipment attached and will be tested for a long period of time to analyse power production. Solar cells convert light into electricity. Generally one can say the more sunlight, the more electricity. However, the sun heats the solar cells and the small crystals can get lazy, so their efficiency drops. At VIA Energy Park, we conduct experiments with cooling the solar cells with circulating brine from a shallow geothermal borehole. The Quebec from EcoMove is an electric city car designed to suit the needs of both private and professional individuals. The car has up to six removable seats and the driver is placed in the centre, allowing for access from either side. The bodywork is made of recyclable lightweight materials and weighs only 600 kilos. It is powered by up to six battery modules and gives a total range of 300 kilometers. More than 100 students have participated in the creation of this sustainable off-the-grid house. It will be able to produce its own electricity, heating, cooling, drinking water and grey water treatment and even partial food production, meanwhile using recycled and easily accessible materials during the construction. The project was created by Building Tomorrow, a non-profit organisation initiated by nine students from VIA University College who have handled the entire process from planning to construction. The house will be used as a research facility in order to develop the concept of off-the-grid living. VIA Ecolab was built in 2006 as a part of an elective environmental course. The building was constructed using CO2 neutral materials and produces energy from the roof built-in PV units. Today the building works as a centre for measuring energy production from different elements within the energy park. VIA Campus Horsens has a vibrant international study environment. There are 3,500 students of whom about half are international. We have 18 different courses and students become a part of an international and always lively environment.
At VIA Campus Horsens, you come to collaborate with students from other programs and countries. The diversity helps to make the study environment more dynamic and fun to be a part of. At VIA Campus Horsens, there are many facilities, like a brand new sports hall and outdoor football pitch. There are many lounge areas placed around campus for meetings and group work, as well as a bookstore, a library and cafeteria. The Student Council's DSR and the Tutor Society help to create the framework for social activities among the students. DSR organises leisure activities, parties and group trips. The Tutor Society ensures that you as a new student get the best start to your education by organising an introduction week of activities. Student Life at VIA Campus also offers classroom teaching. This means that there is room to ask questions and engage in conversations with both the teacher and the fellow student in the classroom.